Hello and welcome to another Electric World video featuring the latest news about EV World. This time, we are discussing insane new updates on Tesla Giga Berlin, Cybertruck, and the Model S Plaid. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. It helps you get notified when we post more content just like this. Let us get into the video. Tesla updated its application for the building and operation of the Giga Berlin production facility on June 3rd, according to the Ministry of Agriculture, Environment and Climate Protection, MLUK. The main reason for these changes was the addition of a proposal to produce electric car battery cells on site. Tesla has always planned for Giga Berlin to become another battery production facility for its electric vehicles since CEO Elon Musk unveiled the facility in late 2019. Giga Berlin has served as a sort of center for Tesla's whole European business. The vehicles manufactured at the factory will not only be given to the German people, but will also be shipped throughout the continent to help alleviate the demand that Tesla has had in recent years. Europe continues to be one of the most densely populated regions for electric vehicles, with Teslas in particular proving to be very popular in several countries, including Germany, France, Norway, and others. Tesla has to keep expanding its battery output to keep up with the demand for its vehicles. According to a news statement from MLUK, the company will build a corresponding auxiliary device for vehicle production in Germany. According to the MLUK release, the production of battery cells is now also to take place on site. For this purpose, a corresponding auxiliary device for vehicle production is requested. In addition, the application contains an expansion of the press shop with two more press lines, which should serve to expand the vertical range of manufacture in the plant. Giga Berlin will manufacture Tesla's 4680 lithium ion cells. The new innovative cell was announced at Tesla's Battery Day event in September 2020, and it will provide vehicles with a larger range, more power, and performance than the 2170 batteries now in use. Tesla will initially deliver cells to Berlin from its Cato Road 4680 manufacturing lines in Northern California. Tesla also stated that the plant's anticipated water consumption would be reduced. Local environmental groups have raised concerns about water consumption, but Tesla intends to use substantially less water than previously predicted. MLUK continues. In addition, the application contains various measures to reduce water consumption so that despite the expansion of the plant, water consumption will probably continue to be around 1.4 million cubic meters per year and the expected amount of wastewater will be around 925,000 cubic meters per year. The licensing authority will determine whether or not to include the public in the decision-making process. This will be decided over the following several days. Tesla plans to begin production of the Giga Berlin around the end of 2021. Jörg Steinbach, Brandenburg's economic minister, anticipates the manufacturing will begin in late summer or early autumn. For the time being, the Model Y will be the first vehicle produced in Germany at the Giga Berlin factory. Another huge news is that Tesla's Model S Plaid has reportedly broke a production car acceleration record. On May 11, 2021, a prototype Tesla Model S Plaid reportedly set a quarter mile time of just over nine seconds at Auto Club Famoso Raceway in California, breaking the record for the fastest production vehicle. The news comes from an unlikely source, Jay Leno, who was cited at the Bakersfield Raceway as Tesla attempted to break the world record. In early June, Leno revealed to Spike's car podcast that he did, in fact, see a Model S Plaid trip the lights in the rumored time. Leno said, I'll tell you what I did. I went up to Famoso Dragway in Bakersfield and the Tesla Plaid I drove by and the NHRA guy was there to make it official. It turned a 9.247 at 152 miles per hour. The AC quote by Leno is catchy, but in an electric car, the air conditioning isn't driven by the same motor as the wheels, as in an internal combustion driven vehicle, thus there's no parasitic loss, which is a significant benefit of the electric powertrain. 
Regardless, a 9.247 second ET elapsed time places the Model S Plaid Edition ahead of the Bugatti Chiron Sports and the 2015 Porsche 918 Spyder, if confirmed would make it the fastest production vehicle in the quarter mile. Tesla, on the other hand, has not confirmed the number, but we can trust Jay Leno more than we can trust Elon Musk at this time. The Tesla Model S Plaid delivery ceremony will take place on June 10th. The keys to the first one will be handed out at that time, and we expect the company to make an official announcement about the statement at that time. The next is about Cybertruck updates, including facial recognition to adjust climate controls, mirrors, and more. Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck in 2019, but many specifics about the pickup truck are still unclear years later. As the first Cybertruck deliveries near, freshly published patent applications reveal some of the electric vehicle's possible interior features and solar capabilities. The Cybertruck may use inside cameras to manage temperature settings and mirror placement, according to a November 2020 patent application outlining the truck's user experience. One feature might allow the car to detect the location of the passenger's face and direct climate control vents toward it. According to the document, the vehicle may be able to recognize who is driving and pull up the appropriate driver profile and preferences using face recognition. The document also mentions a function that can detect a driver's attention and adjust the mirrors accordingly. The configuration of the touchscreen may also change depending on whether the driver or front passenger is about to use it. The application contains grainy images of several displays that a driver could experience in the Cybertruck. The pitch and roll of the Cybertruck are shown side by side with multiple exterior camera views of the trail ahead on and off-roading screen. Another shows a camper mode which appears to allow the driver to operate parts of an attached camper shell from the touchscreen, such as turning off and on a camping stove. When the Cybertruck appeared in 2019, it was notable for its electrically driven integrated bed cover. In addition, a patent application filed in November 2019 that was made public on Thursday shows how the section cover will roll up into a space behind the truck's rear seats. The document also confirms Musk's previous tweet regarding Tesla incorporating solar cells onto the cover. Even though the Tesla Cybertruck's appearance and the fact that it is electric are two of its main selling factors, it must also be practical and usable, so it must have a functional bed, for example, as well as a mechanism to keep your possession secure in the bed, which can be performed by utilizing a simple bed cover. But since this is a Tesla, the optional integrated to no cover will have a twist. It will also be a solar panel that provides electricity when deployed, or rather a series of 110 separate solar cells. According to a patent submitted by Tesla with the US Patent Office, the battery within the electric car may be charged by solar electric cells when the tonneau cover is extended to cover the bed and the solar electric cells that make up the slats are facing the sun. When the truck bed cover is used, it is structured to recharge the battery pack when the closed position allowing the plurality of solar electric cells to face the sun. Elon Musk tweeted in November of 2019 that the photovoltaic to no cover would supply the Cybertruck with up to 15 miles of extra range per day and that if the fold out solar wings were added, they would generate up to 40 miles of power daily. We also see no reason why the Cybertruck's roof couldn't be used as a place for another large solar panel. We'll have to wait and see which of these improvements make it onto the final truck, but we don't know how long. Deliveries of the Tesla Cybertruck were supposed to start in late 2021. However, reports claim that the debut might be delayed until 2022. That was all for today and the latest news we knew about Tesla. And thanks for watching the video. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla's next projects and Elon Musk or electric vehicles, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and subscribe to our Electric World channel for daily content just like this.